All right, thank you very much. Good morning, both. Thanks for being here. And as several of my colleagues have said, thanks for all your hard work for us uh, in the previous year. We appreciate it. Um, Commissioner Ball, if I could ask you very briefly first, uh, um, New York spends about $4 million to purchase local farm products, but in this year's executive budget, um, the governor has indicated she'd like to purchase $400 million worth of products. Can you elaborate on the services and the programs that are going to be used to achieve that goal? Yeah, I got to clarify that just a little bit. We estimate today that New York State, uh, the agencies across the state, the institutions that are part of the state, spend approximately $4 million purchasing New York products. By executive order, order the governor is going to say to all the agencies, set a goal of buying 30% of your products from New York State. We estimate that the state spends about a million and a half dollars purchasing food agricultural products now and so the 400 million is an extrapolation of what 30 percent would look like uh, of a so million. we're not spending a new 400 million dollars we're taking money that's being spent and saying purchase right. it locally i'm so, glad i asked i thought it must be have a yeah pretty I, simple I would love to have 400 million dollars to, yeah, uh, no. to go all right stuff. i'm comforted by that <laughs> okay. i just want to so i was clarifying i didn't Jump off the page correctly. And we may be on the high side of that estimate, but if we fail, we only buy $200 million worth of New York products. That's going to be a pretty great thing for, for New York State producers. Um, and uh, Commissioner, on Parks and Rec, uh, the executive budget contains $8.1 million appropriation for snowmobile registration fees, a $2 million increase over the previous year. What would the revenue for these fees be utilized? And um, if you could, uh, you know, one of my concerns, I think concerns for a lot of people, besides how that increase will be used, is the timing of the increase given the inflationary nature that we're all experiencing in the state and the country right now. Um, if, you, if you feel that this is the right time to, to make that increase. And then uh, associated with all that, if you could reflect on or state what the current co cost to register a snowmobile is and then what it would be. So uh, the increase to the snowmobile registration fee uh, has been is supported by the Snowmobile Association of New York and by many lo many of these local groups. Uh, the bulk of that money, all but ten dollars of those of those fees, goes towards trail maintenance. It is fed back into communities so they can maintain these trails, and so it's it's become it's a very robust program. Um, and so I think you know I think I mean I have the I do have the fees in here. I can give I mean I, think I can get back to what they perfectly are. I've got a, I've, I don't know off the top of my head, but it's some it's some incremental increase, right? But really, all of that incremental increase is really going into trail maintenance, and it's something that we've been it's actually been requested of us. Okay, do you, again, do you know the uh, current cost to register and what the proposed new cost registration will be? Uh, I have it in here. All uh, right. I don't know it off the top That's, of my head. Okay. I, I can get back to you on that. All right, my time is up. Thank you very much. <laughs>